Right guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, The Hunter Collective. Uh, today we've got Damon in the chair. And Damon, we've had a, a, a sit down and we've had a little consultation of what, what Damon would like done today. So um, what he's looking for is something very messy on the top and then working down to a 0.5, quite low around the back and sides. Um, so yeah, I think that really works for the look. I think, I think you can, if you have a little look, there's quite a lot of texture still in the haircut. There's a lot of movement in there. So it's gonna really, really help me today. The only, my only concerns were, is when I worked it up and when I was kind of looking through the haircut, it's got very sort of different sort of lengths throughout this haircut, where it's like one side's mega long compared to the other. And it's got a very heavy disconnection sitting through the side there, you see, just sitting right over, right? Thing is, this connection comes from there, which is over the round of the head. Now, the only th problem with that is that it's very hard to connect when you don't want that. Uh, and I don't think he needs it in this circle, personally. I don't think that this connection is going to... I think it will help him having longer lengths, but it's, I think it should sit just on the blend because that way you've still got that blend. It still grows out nicely. The problem I find with disconnections, it, with such heavily dis uh, textured disconnections, is that they don't last when they grow out. That's why I kind of veer away from them. So you can still have a top-heavy haircut. You just don't need to... You can still connect it. So there's, if you just pull this horizontally, you'll over-direct the length into here, but you'll still keep a lot of the length going forward. So that working with this connection or working with connecting in by over direction really, really helps a haircut grow out. Um, I know he styles it very well, but he also said that when it gets a bit longer, it tends to part sort of down the middle like that, which I kind of like, to be honest. Um, but the reason that does that is because obviously it's a lot longer. So everyone has a natural party. So if you raise a cut this and you texturize this in certain ways, even as it gets a bit longer, it should stay messy it shouldn't split too much obviously to a certain length you can't really help that um but for what he, for the amount of time he leaves it throughout the haircut we shouldn't really be having that so i think we'll just texturize this in a way that will help it fall and still mess kind of still stay messy throughout to sort of like a the six week mark or the four week mark or whatever so a bit of longevity in this haircut also at the back if you can see for the sense there's a, there's a lot of heavy weights in here so it's almost making his head protrude out at the back do you see the way the shape's coming out and then flat and then forward. I don't think personally that's doing any favors for his for his, uh, his profile. So I think by taking that up a bit higher will really help. You can still keep a little bit of length in and again, working across, working it to the blend will really help. So you still keep length in it because I think the crown still needs to have that longer layer through it to blend in. But if we pick that up, I think we kind of want to make this match. If you pull that to here, you want to make that match a bit more. So as it gets a bit longer, see? So I think if we pull that down there, we connected it to that length on the top. As you can see, that back bit's just a bit long when you pull it down. So we connected it to there and cut that bit off there. That would all connect through and that would really, really help. So yeah, I think we'll give it a wash condition and then uh, we'll crack on. All right. Cool. All right, guys, so we've just shampooed and conditioned Damon's hair. Now, when, obviously when you wash it, you really start to see how it wants to sit. So what it looks like to me, you've got that heavy disconnection coming here. Problem is for me that this connection is too far back. I think if you want to leave the fringe longer, leave the fringe longer. So I think we can try and start connecting these bits. So you can still leave, say this bit disconnected if you want to, just through here. But then just take the sections behind it slightly shorter. Just so you've still got that heaviness, but you can try I'm trying to blend, blend this in if I can. Um, but then you start to see exactly how it's been cut last as well. So it looks as though it's been kept, kept quite low and then to build weight through here. Now, it works, um, I like it, but I wanna mix it up a little bit today. I wanna take it a bit higher and work on a different blending method to really help the sort of, to remove the corners that we don't necessarily need. I think to keep a bit of longevity in it, because I think when it starts getting, especially in, in Asian hair, or, very, or anyone with very straight hair to be fair, um, when you start leaving weight through the corners here, it doesn't have much longevity, because the weight of the hair, because it's so, usually so thick, it will sit very flat on the head. Now it'll start to create that kind of like, almost a peak like this angle, like that, more than it becoming like this. So by taking the corner a bit higher and working the blend to create the squareness, and then working the way to sit on top of the blend, that's where you get that kind of still sharp squareness, but also longevity, because you don't have all that weight sitting heavy over the corner. So that's what I want to try and remove today for him, just try and see if it gives him a bit of longevity in the haircut as well. So I'm going to dry this off, and then we're going to start on the back and sides. As we start to dry it through, we'll start to see how heavy it sits and we'll start to be able to blend this in perfectly. Because I think when you're working on anything so straight, it exposes so many um, 
mistakes or you know say say you've took your section too wide it really shows it there's no there's no hiding uh, a mistake in sort of short uh, straight hair so um that's why i think by, by doing the prevention over the cure working from the crown drying it all off first it just helps me to sort of uh, stay away from kind of making a slight mistake or whatever so with my number two give myself that room to blend so i'm dropping it just maybe an inch before where i want to start blending into the top There's my number two done. Now I'm going to work down using the grades into my 0.5 because I want this to be a very nice sort of seamless blend. I don't want to put the line in and blend the line out so that'll create more of a harsher blend. So one and a half in and then just basically almost like you're rubbing the clipper across the head. It just creates that kind of that, that uh, a steady rhythm is what you're looking for. And I'm working up to the two. Go on to my one now, so close guard. Coming off just a little bit lower now. Just working back onto my half, just go over any little lumps and bumps. Try and continue the kind of seamlessness of this blend. Just using the corner to go over any little bits. There we go. Now onto my half guard. Put this up and off. Open out. Clip that into my one and just work down. Still all in one go, just so keep it seamless. Just use the flick down and make it up enough. Now what I'll do is I'll just tape the neck in, guard off, open guard, so leave it down. Just going to work up into the hair. Won't take much off because it's on a 0.5 already. And just going to work through the lever just to finish this off nicely. So you get down to a very natural hairline. We start to connect into this blend using very shallow um, sections just to make sure you're keeping the sections tighter will minimise any a risk of any uh, sort of steps in this blend and make it a lot more seamless. And just work up and over the comb. The hair is coming out at an angle. Using that as my guide. I can maintain all this length here. And start to create a nice blend. without compromising this length here. I'm going to comb in, blend it up to that line, and then cross check. You start to work a bit higher up.
And I'm just going to move back to my clipper comb and just wait that one and a half in. So two. So it's such a visual thing when you're doing hair of this texture. You really need to take a, a, just take a little step back to have a look exactly how it's starting to form. Okay, so I'm going to take the side a little bit higher. Perfect. There we go. Cool. Right. That's done for me now. So I'm just going to edge out the, hair, the hairline now using the mini trimmers and then we work on the top. A little bit edgier. This haircut, I'm leaving it natural. It's not cut into too much, but I'll just really, really sharpen it up. So work over that blend from the half to the one, just to make sure there's no darker patches in the hair. Because you can get that as soon as you start seeing a little bit of scalp exposure on very dark, thick hair. It happens on mine. Anyone with that really super thick, straight hair, just use the minis and the comb just to kind of get rid of them. Kind of remove the kind of the dark patch that you'll see probably from further away than up close. And now, like we said at the start, I think I'm going to work from the back to the front. Just take away that crown again, just remove that there, so I'm not going to cut it. And then I want to try and keep that length through the front, and then, like, sorry, through the middle at the top, because that length is quite nice through here as well. But obviously, what I'll do is I'll make sure it's all sitting straight and it's just getting a little bit longer as it gets to the front. I'm just going to break that up as well. So, quite harsh cuts into that, especially when you're doing straight hair. I always try and stay away from doing anything sort of like sort of straight. Um, I always tend to point cut it and just remove the length that way. That's just a little bit here. Just sit it. The finish is a little bit nicer, I think, personally. I'm just getting rid of that kind of bluntness to the top. You start to see a lot more length coming through now because you start to see that this connection was. Now the next section after this is the fringe. Pull that straight up. There we go. Right out. Just cut that in. So this is creating a really nice blend into that top length as well. I'm working it into that disconnection through the fringe. Put the weight sitting on top of the blend, which we worked on before, and now it's still sitting with a disconnection through the fringe. We don't have a disconnection back here now. We have a disconnection through the fringe. So that's the point of when I say when you have a disconnection, disconnections are great if you work with them correctly. And I always find that leaving the length of the fringe is nice for this haircut, but I still having that blend through the sides is always works well because that will grow up really nicely now. It won't grow up with a heaviness where by week three, Damon doesn't really know where to put it because it's just four and heavy. So that will really help. And we've still got that longer element to the haircut as well. Put that bluntness off. We're just taking this sort of corner out that was left a bit heavy, which I just don't think needs to be there. Will I be able to cut this disconnection out and blend it in? Yeah, that should be fine. There we go. So we've got that heavy disconnection of the fringe and everything sitting into the blend now as well. That crown's pretty much blended in from earlier on. So I'm just point cutting it in. And what I'll do is I'll work across vertically now and just cut into that section above. Yeah. 
and just going to match it up. So you're going to do a few little longer bits down the bottom. Let's just want to match that up. I'm going to pull this straight forwards. I'm not going to curve this round to match. So make sure it blends in that side. So I don't need to blend it in. I want to still keep it disconnected. So I'm going to bring this down. Just cut it along his eyebrows. So use the eyebrows as the guide more than the hairline. I'm going to slide through and really make this very chunky texture to make it to break it overall. So you've got a little bit sticking up, a little bit sitting flat, and this will really help the kind of messiness of this haircut. Slide through. Do the same again. But a little bit of root lift in this as well, so it doesn't sit too flat, especially with the, where that uh, natural parting tends to be. But I think when you use anything like this, very, very straight, especially when they're quite flat, chunky texture is the best thing to do because it really, really breaks it up. Hopefully, start to break out that centre part that he's got going on there. We'll just start coming straight down, and we'll work it right in just before the fringe. But we'll work it right into the fringe as well to really break that fringe up too. So you shatter that fringe. I'm just doing different angles, just create a lot more movement to it as well. So again, we're thinking about that centre part. I want to try and keep that centre part out of it as long as I can. Just slide in a nice chunky texture. But you can go quite aggressively texturizing with this as well because the hair is so thick and so straight it will really, really show it off more. And then I'll just finish with a little bit of scissor over comb just to make sure everything's perfect. No. I'll dry it off as well. So I'll use a little bit of salt spray to dry it off with, and then we'll style it with the Regal Gentleman Mac Clay. So I'll it from the crown, right all forwards, and right left to right, left to right, work it through that way. As you see, it's so messy, so textured on there as well. Yeah. And try that fringe down. There we go. Now, I'll start it out. So, a little bit of the Jump with Mac Clay in this, and it'll make it really messy. Pea size amount, look it right into your hand and right through your fingers. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm just take a little tiny bit more and just pop it on the back of my hand just in case I want to use this to pick little bits out. If I don't want to, I'll just scoop it back into the tub. So I'm not wasting it, but I might want to just kind of pick little bits out to really break this texture up a bit more. So through your fingers as well. At the back again, as always, make sure you put it in there. And then you want to pick it right up like this. Leave the fringe. Pick it right up. Now, again, now into the fringe. Like that. And then just push your fingers forward like that. And then pick how you want it to be messy. So the picture, Damon showed me it was just super messy. There's no particular structure to it at all. It was just super messy. Up, down, left, right, all over the place. And sure they just put that through the blend as well. Right. I don't really need this bit on the back of my hand, so I'll just put it back in the tub. But it's always good to add a little bit more if you need a bit more, more than putting a load on to start with. If you put too much on sometimes, it just weighs it down. It, looks, it can look a bit awful, so you know, just make sure you don't put too much product in. I think always less is more sometimes. You don't want to over, overly sort of uh, style it in that sense with loads of product or whatnot. And just move it around, just break out that texture. Yeah. How's that look for you, mate? Uh, Put your glass on, have a little look. Yeah, happy? Cool, man. MP1 in the style is a, a low 0.5 fade into a sort of longer, flatter, very heavily textured uh, top. It's quite a 
very sort of it's very simple but a very really effective haircut so anything really super straight like this asian hair or anything even like mine chunky like thick like kind of like harsh texture is always the best i find especially to create that a lot of movement like that as well and then we dry it a little bit of salt spray and then finish it with some really good gentleman on and that is the, the finished result all right happy yeah cool man thank you very much